So f of x represents the velocity of the object in feet per second. And time is in x seconds of the object moving on a straight track. We're going to estimate the distance of the object that has traveled during the time interval given with the number of rectangles given using the left or right sums. So the function is x squared. That's the represents the velocity in feet per second on the interval from 0 to 1 second using a right sum picture of rectangles, two rectangles of equal width. So we have here two rectangles. The A in the usual notation is 0 to B is 1. So our interval is going from A to B. So here's your 0 here, and here's your 1 at the end. The width of the intervals is going to be the difference of your endpoints, B minus A, divided by how many intervals you want. Here we have a B of 1, A is 0, N is 2 intervals, sub-intervals that we want, and that divides to 0.5. So x0 is the a, which is 0. x1 is one increment away from x0, which is 0.5. There's your 0.5. And x2 is two increments away from the start. Two of these, which is 1, and that's the b. And there you have the 1. So a right sum picture says let's count on the first subinterval let's count this height to represent the velocity that they were going for the first half a second and that generates this rectangle and that gen rectangle is 0.5 wide and 0.25 high for an area of 0.125 so 0.125 feet is how far they've gone with that estimating procedure and then on the second interval which is also 0.5 wide we're using the right endpoint velocity which is way up here and we're calculating the rate times time and this here is your 1 and so this rectangle over here has an area of 0.5 representing the number of feet that you have traveled during that sub interval so that's the 0.5 you add those up together and you get 0.65 so if you're doing it from the picture you do this calculation right here and you come up with 0.65 feet. Now technically the notation which we have to learn the right sum for n equals 2 rectangles will be i equals 1 to 2 which is different than the counter moved for the left because now we're going to take the f on the right end point of the sub intervals so we want f of x sub 1 times the change in uh, the width delta x plus f of x sub 2 this time times the width which gives you all your numbers and results in the 0.625 feet.